My name is Danielle Pelotto, and I am a figurative realist painter, which means I love to paint people. I um, reside here in St. Charles, and I'm truly honored to have not only made it into the Vicinity 2023 show, um, but to have received the Lester J. Norris Award. A little bit about the painting that um, received the award. So um, I painted a, for me, more classical approach to the painting. It's um, entitled La Floor. It's 24 by 28 inches, unframed, um, but obviously framed here for the show. I wanted to do just a story about um, youth and children who are transitioning into becoming um, young adults. And so the idea behind La Fleur, um, which means the flower, is that she's wearing this beautiful um, floral blouse. It's all embroidery. Um, and I felt like the pattern on that blouse just kind of emulated the journey that young people go through, especially moving from you know being a tween into a teen um, and all the trials and tribulations that come with that. Um, and at the same time, the blouse tends to represent kind of the journey of, of that, right? Like moving into a new space, a new part of your life, and all the wonderful things that are yet to come. So that being said, um, as a painter, I did used to paint on canvas for quite some time. Um, but in this painting and a lot of the paintings I've done probably in the last eight years, I switched to a material that is called ACM, which is basically just aluminum composite material. So like Dibond or Alumacomp or any of those brand names, they're basically aluminum panel. I basically will take the panel, cut it to the size that I need, and then um, sand and prime it with a neutral gray primer. I do that a number of times until I feel the panel is ready to take the paint. Um, and before I start painting, I always draw the subject or quick sketch and get familiar with the person and then transfer that drawing to the panel. Um, there is no underpainting. I have done various paintings in the past that I've underpainted, um, but I've changed my technique over time and developed a way of painting with color straight onto the panel and layering those colors and glazing until I get um, the effect that you would see in the painting uh, here at the Norris Cultural Arts Center. Yeah, I love to paint narrative pieces which entail adding um, a bit of a story via symbolism. Um, it could be butterflies, it could be hummingbirds, it could be just about anything that I feel I can utilize to tell a story. So I like to approach my paintings like they're painted stories. Um, and I do that quite often with a lot of the figurative and portrait style work I do. I also uh, accept portrait commissions, um, and those are always fun to do because a lot of times people are trying to put together um, ideas that they have or even put people together that never met for whatever reason. Um, and I'm able to use Photoshop to actually make that reality happen. Um, and I find that to be just very fulfilling to be able to um, help people get something they normally wouldn't have, right? So you can um, find me on Instagram under Danielle Peloto. And I'm also on Facebook under Danielle Peloto Artist. And I welcome you to follow me on both of those platforms. I also have a website, daniellepelotto.com, that I invite you to visit, and you can feel free to contact me via the website or ask any questions you may have. Finally, I'd like to really thank all of the volunteers here at the Norris Cultural Arts Center. They work so hard, and I feel so grateful to have this art center in the community I live in. <laughs> Um, let alone the fact that um, they saw fit to give me the Lester G. Norris Award, and for that I'm eternally grateful. Thank you very much.